All right, so first I want to start by saying Kalalal Yahawo, Bashem Yahawo Shai, Bashem Rakapadash, which is to give all praises to Yahawo, which is the Heavenly Father, and uh, to his son, which is Yahawo Shai, uh, in the name of the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. Um, double honors to the apostles and elders of James, from the stone to you, came out there. Shalom, salutation to you. Don't forget. This is Brother Kanan from James Jamaica. You read another lesson, and this lesson should be titled Is it right for the government to bribe its people in getting vax? You know what I mean? Because this is something that I've uh, been seeing, and it's been promoted not only in Jamaica, but also in the US, where I think the Biden administration said that person should receive a hundred dollar or something like that to take the, the job or to get the key you know what i mean and you'd have had businesses coming out and putting their twists and bits to influence persons into that so the discussion is basically is it right or wrong on what is bribery or how do you look at this because one may say, I'm going to try to put it on a balanced level. I mean, I already have my views on it. But just to edify, one might say, um, well, they are the one. Um, oh, this is an early crisis. So these persons are in dire needs. And um, therefore, helping them is not nothing is wrong. But... Let's look at the 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 gesture. Uh, look at the um, look at the motives behind it. I look at the art behind it, the mindset. So let's give an example. Jamaica government said that they were giving ten thousand dollars to persons over the age of sixty if they were to get the key. All right, that 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 juice. They were to get that. They would have given them that amount. So. It is basically a push to encourage persons, you know, to hop on board. But after, so these persons are persons that are elderly. They are, um, without, if they did it for that, then it means that they are vulnerable. They are, they are in need. But the government used that opportunity. You didn't see that they were in need before, but gave them that little some change to fund their movement or to, to encourage their movement and then after they've done that them turn them eye or them back on them because they don't look on them again you know what I mean so their job is accomplished so is this mindset right or wrong you know what I mean you know you can scriptures also and uh, you know look for some other principles in life according to laws in society I mean, because this is basically getting wild. It's crazy out there. Business just planting this and you using different terms or incentives. And all I can understand business because business is all about making money. They don't really care about anyone. But government job is to protect its people. Government job is to care for the people. They should be for the people. So it's not about just business for the government. It should be about the people coming first and their rights and their freedom. You know what I mean? And they're basically the ability to survive and sustain. Alright, so I'm going to read the scripture real quick and I'm going to get into some some things that are, you know. This is um, Exodus 23 and uh, verse, I'm going to start from 6 to 8. It says, Thou shalt not rest the judgment of that thy poor in his cause. Right? Thou shalt not rest, as in double R E S T. The judgment of thy poor in his cause. Keep thee far from a false matter, and the innocent and righteous slay thou not, for I will not justify the wicked. Verse 8 And thou shalt take no gift, for a gift blinded the wise and perverted the, the words of the righteous. Alright, so it is hosting a gift. You know what I mean? 
All right, which is what basically going to bribe. You know what I mean? So what do you give your money for? You know, pervert judgment. Let's read. Uh, this is what Psalms. Uh, sorry, Proverbs 15 and 27. He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house. Right? But he that ate it gifts shall live. You know what I mean? These are all going into bribes. Somebody bribing you into doing things. And this uh, this is another thing. It, this goes uh, of Jake love gifts, yo. Right? Jake love gifts. So I'm going to... Let's see what bribery is basically, right? Or it says bribery. The giving gift or offering of a bribe, right? Alright, then you see corruption, payola, palm greasing, graft, hush money. All these things are considered as bribery. You know what I mean? Alright, so... This is the incident to Jamaicans selling their vote, or planning to sell in their vote. Which we know this happened, alright? I'm not going to change your mind, I'm just going to point out, as I said, I'm going to read a few scriptures, I'm going to show you some examples of things that has been taking place in our country. And we can show you that or we have a wicked country, yo. You know what I mean? So I might say, oh, nobody came forward and said anything. But that doesn't do the, the change of fact that persons know that we have a wicked country and these leaders that we have are wicked. You know what I mean? So let's talk about this. It says ten uh, ten thousand for my ex. Almost thirteen percent of Jamaicans say they would sell their vote. All right, persons say, "Oh, look, here, man, any party who I'm paying me for vote for them will vote for them. It's not about if this party is better. It's not about you know. But guess what? This is illegal, and if you are participating in this act, you are." participating in an illegal act because if you're found you will be fined right and i think it goes up to what eighty thousand dollars or something like that mm -hmm. and a year or two year in prison depending on something like that and i mean it called up in the people's act you can look it up not going to hear all of that you know but we know that this is a case where persons sell their vote and for many other reasons persons do things for benefit you know what i mean person that would have um, align themselves to government parties would have received gifts or benefits based on that and this is weakness, this is bribery you know what I mean this is bribery and this is how this has been Jamaica for many times Jamaica is one of the most corrupt nations in the world and America is also there America, is, America should be one of the most corrupt nations America should be the, corrupt, the most corrupt nation in the world you know what I mean based on things that they would have been involved in but they're up there. They should be. You know what I mean? So the world is like that. Very wicked society. But persons tend to not look at these things. And when they're being shown in your, your face, it's, it seems the norm. So you're basically, you ignore it. You know what I mean? Ignore it. Now, just like I said about Jamaica, even dance, killer um, persons that are doing crime in your community. Because... They are putting on trees like politics what say chari um char charity tricks charity charity tricks you know what i mean yeah because you're putting on charity oh them are good people because them do good for the community but yet still these same men are putting in um bringing guns in your country they're bringing um raising the crime rate murdering your, your brothers and sisters sometimes it even reach your door where you are your family is being destroyed but because you were getting gifts or charity tricks, you are, are called hush money in bribery, you would have basically ignored that you know, this is the this is just the other one. Them the part of this are the same thing. So you're going to defend our thing because that's they say the current the country there. So one corruption leads to the next corruption and this continues. You know what I mean? This is what is taking place, right? Alright, let's go back to it. Alright, so I'm gonna read a few more scriptures. Is this okay? Is this the right is this right for persons to be Paying persons to 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 to, to get the, the key, to get job, to any is it right for persons to do that? I think not. Let me read it again. Proverbs fifteen and um seventeen. He that is greedy for of gain troubleth his own house. 
So if you were not going to do something, but someone pays you to do it uh, for giving over your rights or your freedom in doing something that you were against, and you only do it because you're getting paid, then you are wicked. And you're troubling your own house. And the person that pays you to do it is wicked. And will bring trouble to your house. Alright? But he that hated gifts shall live. He that hated gifts shall live. Make that sink and soak in. Alright, this is Proverbs 17 and 23, right? 17 23. I think that's what I'm seeing here. Let's get there. Alright, I'm not trying to make the video long either. Um, 23. The art of the wise teacheth is the mode. I need a, uh, sorry, my bad, 16, 17, 23, right? So let's find that. Okay. Um, it says, A wicked man taketh gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. Bribery. A wicked man taketh a gift out of the, bo the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. Bribery. All right. 17 and verse 8. <clears throat> A gift is a precious stone in the eyes of him that hath it. Whithsoever it turneth, it prospereth. Huh? Alright. Uh, you can use this gift to make your thing, you know? Make your thing work. I'm going to grease my palm. Alright. Exodus. Uh, I read that already. Um, sorry. So I'll get, go back to Psalm. I'm going to wrap it up. No, it's just this kind of question there. So you should look at your, uh, your, your leaders today. And wonder what is taking place with your leaders, you know? Are these are these men just men and if they're doing these things that they would that you consider not to be just, if you so consider not to be just, then why would you trust them? You know what I mean? <clears throat> okay. One moment here. Just a moment, please. Uh. Mm, I just had this really dumb, but I'm just not finding it. Just a moment. You got it right here. That's not it. Okay. <clears throat> Ah, let me not draw it out, you know what I mean? Let me not draw it out. So, it's basically um, just that, you know? Uh, for you to look and judge your leaders, you bring your, your leaders accountable, uh, or you make you, um, you know, basically more aware of what is taking place, all right? So, I don't think I'm finding this scripture that I was looking for. I think I had it written down, but I didn't write it down. All right, so I'm not going to... Basically, it's all going into bribery and keeping the integrity. You know what I mean? A lot of persons today don't have integrity. Things are somewhere in, somewhere in Psalms. You know what I mean? The way that scripture is. But I, I'm not finding it. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to wrap up there. So, <coughs> your integrity is very important. And the most I judge you based on integrity. You know what I mean? Because whatever you go, you're doing... You know, for whatever reasons you're doing, the most I see the motives and the reason bent. And if it's an evil reason, then you're going to be judged. And to bribe anyone into doing anything is wicked. You know what I mean? To bribe anyone into doing anything that they would not have done. You know what I mean? They're against, you know, to pervert the we are to whatever. That's bribery in based on what I understand. So that I'm gonna say yo um again all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yao Shai, Bashim Krakadash, the one who said the apostles and it was a Jim Jim Stone and Tiakimo Dear Shalom. Alright?